Check out our brand new barnyard. We are so excited to have this now. Today on the Tomarosa, it's all about headlocks. So first let me introduce you to Old Rickety. This is two years old. We built this uh, not too long after we got our girls as calves. It's a home built job as you can see. All right. Overall, it's worked well for us over the past two years, but it is starting to show its age. The cows have been rubbing against this post pretty good. It's got that cow patina to it. The last thing we wanted was a cow taken off with uh, this stuck on her head. So this is what we're going to on the Tomarosa. This is a headlock panel. It's uh, 6 and 12, so it's a 12 foot long panel and has openings for 6 cows. Uh, yes, I only know we have four, but someday we'll have more. And so this will give us the ability to lock up uh, several cows at one time, which is great. And then it's also more sturdy, which our vet will appreciate. With the headlocks open as they are now, uh, in a locking position, if the cow sticks their head through, once they reach down to grab feed, they'll rub against this rail here and it will lock. And so they can't get out. Uh, this rail here on the top rotates, so if it's rotated, it'll automatically open. And then another uh, safety benefit of this is if you ever have a down cow that goes down with her head in the headlock, you can lift this latch up and open it on the bottom so she can get her head out from the bottom. Hopefully we never need that. This particular headlock panel is made by Hatfield Manufacturing out of Idaho. They make all sorts of different dairy equipment. Uh, it was recommended to us by some friends, and I've seen them on lots of dairy, so uh, we liked what we saw, so we went ahead and bought one 12-foot panel. It really wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be. It was about $300, uh, which I think for this entire steel uh, contraption, it's all hot dip galvanized, is a pretty good deal. Uh, unfortunately, shipping uh, is expensive. It costs almost as much to ship it here. Uh, as it did to buy it, but we are very pleased and glad to have it on the farm. These are the posts we're going to use. It's a uh, two and seven eighths outside diameter. It's a uh, old drill pipe, so it's actually pretty thick walled stuff. We got two of them. Uh, we bought them with the headlock, so they were all shipped together. But what we're going to do is we're basically going to place the panel right here. Now this area behind the barn right now is pretty much a general disaster area. As part of the building process, we scraped away all the topsoil. And so over the winter, there was nothing to hold it together. So between the cows and tractors and us, if it gets wet, it's a muddy mess. The plan is to rectify that. We're going to have a concrete pad back here. Um, but as part of that, we have to first establish where we're going to put the headlocks and get the post set in the ground. That's what we're going to do right now. We've marked out where we need to dig the holes, so now the fun part starts. We have lots of equipment for digging holes. This one is one of my favorites. It's a hand-powered auger. Uh, our soil gets pretty tough on the farm and as long as you don't hit a big rock, which we don't have many of, this thing will power through pretty much anything. So this is obviously is smaller than our ultimate hole, but it basically I'm drilling a pilot hole. Got both the holes dug, just making sure the bottoms are tamped flat. No loose material. Now I'm gonna go take a break. Time for fun with concrete. Already measured out my water. We have a bovine audience. Hi Daisy, what are you doing? Alright, back to work. She come to help? Yep. More dairy audience. Hello Carnation. Hello Rose. Oh, did you finish that? I was looking at the cast.
I'll buy that. We're finishing up putting in the concrete for the posts. And of course, cows are always helpful. Want to check out everything we're doing? Their quality control assurance. That's it for today. Uh, we gotta let the concrete set up and then we'll place the headlock panel. We are going to use our tractor, our faithful, faithful tractor, to lift up the headlock and go ahead and get it installed on the posts. These are the posts for our headlocks. Uh, we got some snazzy caps to put on the top. These are just caps that you'd use on like a chain link fence. And then we painted the pipe silver with Rust-Oleum. Uh, we're going to install the headlocks now. It's more of a temporary installation just to put them somewhere, get the cows used to them, but we'll have to take them out when we go to put concrete in. We have the headlocks temporarily installed for now, so uh, nothing's been welded or anything. It's just sitting here. We're just going to leave it be. We're not going to give cows access to it yet. We want them to get used to just looking at it. Took a bit of training, but we finally got all four to put their heads through the headlocks. Good morning. We have a concrete truck coming shortly to visit us on the Tomarosa. So the last few days has been a whirlwind of activity to get ready for that. So this is the barnyard behind the barn. And it's a little bit of a paved area outside the barn for the cows. It'll have a set of headlocks. It'll also double as a holding area for the milking parlor. And it'll have access to water for them. So we're very excited to get this up and going. And then where I'm standing now, extending this way, we'll have a gravel lane out to the pastures. Only one concrete truck today, poured about eight yards. Check out our brand new barnyard. We are so excited to have this now. We just got it poured just a couple days ago. We wanted to get it done when we got it done because soon the cows will start freshening and that's the entrance to the milking parlor and they need to be able to go through here every day so we had to get this poured before that happened uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to happen outside we need to put some gates and panels around it to enclose it and put a divider underneath the uh, headlocks there that we reinstalled but the concrete's poured which was the time critical thing so we're very happy about it so the texture that we put into the concrete on the barnyard is similar to the texture we used inside the barn and that was a roller bug finish. Here's the finish that's in the barn. It's worked out really well. And the only thing we did different in the barnyard is we actually crisscrossed it. So in the barn, we only rolled one direction with the roller bug and then out here we rolled two directions. Um, we found that this provides really good traction for the cows. Uh, a lot of dairies you'll see that they'll run parallel grooves usually like four inches apart or something and that is the the way that works is more of a slip and catch so if a cow slips those grooves will catch but these provide more constant traction i feel and we've had good luck in the barn so we used it out here as well very excited to have these headlocks there's a lot better than old rickety well folks thanks for joining us on the tomarosa now that we got that barnyard concrete poured, it's time to redouble our efforts on the inside. 
because babies will be coming soon and when babies come milk starts flowing but uh, beautiful weather out here today glad you could stop by and join us and we'll see you next time on the tomarosa if you haven't already please do subscribe we really appreciate it and we appreciate your comments too